Hey everybody, PropBoy1 here, and today we will be taking a look and reviewing the Spirit Halloween and Techie Design Lunging Pumpkin Carver. So this prop was originally designed for Spirit Halloween during the 2016 season, and of course was manufactured by Techie Design. And then after 2016, her reign at Spirit was over, and she went to other stores, including Party City in 2018, being renamed Carly Carver. She was sold at other online stores, I believe, and now... Uh, I've, as of being filmed February of 2022, she has a brand new version of her named Vengeful Vicky, and uh, yeah, yikes. But today we will be taking a look at the original Lunging Pumpkin Carver, the one that was sold at Spirit Halloween in 2016. So this is an original, like, debut year version of this prop. Before we go any further though, let's take a look at a demo. As we saw, once activated, the Lunging Pumpkin Carver will begin to speak her one phrase as her pumpkin illuminates an ominous orange. Then during her phrase, when she says, now I'm going to carve you, her entire body jumps up and both arms flail around as the pumpkin returns to a white strobing effect. Then she begins to heavily breathe as she resets and the pumpkin returns to its orange glow. So this prop is definitely geared towards a jump scare. Obviously, she jumps up when you least expect it. And just the way she looks, she just looks very angry overall, and she has the knife, so I think she can definitely freak out quite a few people. However, the one issue that many people had, and I can definitely see this issue being a problem in a haunt, is that her mouth does not move. So in a haunt, when you really can't hear what the props are saying, a lot of people will walk past this prop before she actually jumps up and scares them. I think to benefit off of that, Techie should have added a moving mouth or light up eyes. Lunging Lily was made before this prop and she has both of those. So I do wish that Techie could have added the moving mouth to kind of give her more character before she actually jump scares. But I still think she's a freaky looking prop, especially with the knife and the way her arms flail around. Plus a lot of people won't expect her to jump up anyways and I think most people will actually witness her jump up. So I still think she's a pretty freaky prop with fitting animation, although she could have used the mouth movement. The pumpkin is carved just like a typical jack-o'-lantern face, and it has a lot of nice painting and shading details all around. The stem is a green color, obviously, and you can actually even see some knife marks found throughout the pumpkin. And the carver herself wears a blood-stained, very dull pink dress with some uh, gray lace found throughout. Both of her hands are a little scratched up, and she grips a very sharp, blood-soaked knife in her right hand. Then her face is very nicely sculpted and painted. That is something I actually prefer about this prop over Lunging Lily. Lunging Lily kind of has a soccer ball face. Her face does not have that much shape to it at all. Whereas Pumpkin Carver has a very nicely sculpted head. It's very nicely painted. And the uh, scars are actually painted with a very glossy red paint. So under light, it actually looks like fresh blood. Then her black hair is just tied in pigtails. I think this prop is overall very nicely detailed. I wish she had one more prominent blood stain found somewhere on her dress where a lot of people could see it. Because admittedly, this one, it, the one down here is kind of missable, unfortunately. So I wish there was one more kind of around her abdomen somewhere. But other than that, I think Lunging Pumpkin Carver is a very detailed prop, and she's very freaky looking as well. As usual with all the, uh, I almost said seasonal visions, as usual with all the techie design jumping props, she is made of entirely plastic. However, I do believe she's made a lot better than Lunging Lily. Lunging Lily has one pole that leads up to her body for the lunging, whereas Pumpkin Carver has a lot more plastic pieces and extra bracing. Lily wobbles around a lot when she jumps up, however, Pumpkin Carver hardly moves when she jumps up, which is awesome. Then her other features like the pumpkin, the hands, the knife, and the head are all plastic as well. I don't know if the other versions of this prop are made any differently like the Party City ones. However, I do know that the Spirit ones had pretty good quality. There were some broken in stores, however, you really don't account store displays because those are used countless times a day. I would say Pumpkin Carver is very good quality, and if you take care of her, she should last you for a long time. 
And finally, Carver retailed for $180 back in 2016. Now, is she worth the $180? I really do like this prop, however, I'm going to say not quite. I think in order for her to be worth $180, she needs a moving mouth or light up eyes. A lot of people can argue that the pumpkin kind of substitutes for the light up eyes. However, I just think the Carver needs one more animation for her to be worth $180. With that being said, concluding this review, the Lunching Pumpkin Carver is going to receive an 8.5 out of 10. She could use a few minor updates, however, this is just such a cool prop, kind of a classic techie prop to me. She's very nostalgic, and she's 10 times better than the new 2021 Pumpkin Carver known as Vengeful Vicky. This one will always be the superior one, and Vengeful Vicky is an absolute joke compared to this one. So thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for more coming soon. Bye!